In this next video, I'm going to show you how to set up your keywords. Keywords are a fantastic way to automate messages within Messenger and stay in touch with your subscribers. Without keywords, your bot would not be able to recognize when your users ask it questions outside of the flows that you've designed. Mary wants to use a keyword that's going to help users live chat with a representative. Her keyword is going to be along the lines of talk to a human, but I'm actually going to show you a couple of examples on different keywords that can trigger this exact response. Let's head into ManyChat right now and get started with keywords. To access your keywords, go to the left side navigational menu, click on automation. Now click on keywords. Now, if you've never created any keywords before, the only thing you'll find in here are these two top keywords. The first is to subscribe people. The next is to unsubscribe people. As you can see, we cannot turn these off. These are by default from ManyChat, and that's to help you stay compliant with Facebook's terms of service. Now, I've also pre-built in some keywords for Mary so that I can help explain to you the various types of keywords that are available to you. So let's go ahead and explore that. If we click over here where message is, we can start at the top. Message is, message contains, message contains a whole word, message begins with, or message is thumbs up. So if a message is something, that means that if I'm going to type in a keyword, for instance, like Mary wants to type, talk to a human, and I say message is, that means anytime someone actually types in the exact message, talk to a human, it would trigger that action or that message. Now, if it's the next one, message contains, this one is a little trickier. So let's say the keyword is the word like, as you can see here. Well, if an end user were to type in the word dislike, it would still trigger this message because the word like is within the word dislike because I'm using the message contains option. The next option is the message contains whole word. And this is more likely the one that you would use if you have one single keyword that you want to trigger. And that means in the case of say the like option, if I only want them to trigger like and not trigger it when they type dislike, I would want that message to be message contains whole word. We also have message begins with. Now message begins with is great if you just wanna trigger a keyword based off of a full sentence someone might type. So in this case, I set it up as if they use the keyword speak or talk. So if the end user in this case typed in speak to a representative or speak to a human or talk to a human, because they've used the word speak or talk, at the beginning of the sentence, this keyword would trigger. And then finally, just for fun, we have the message is thumbs up. So if someone were to give you a thumbs up, it's nice to reply with, hey, right back at you, or something fun like that. You certainly don't have to add that in, but I always thought it was a great feature to have. Now, since Mary already has the phrase talk to a human in here, we're gonna go ahead and create a new keyword, which is similar that someone might type in. Now here we're just gonna go talk to Mary. It doesn't really matter if it's capitalized because the bot is gonna recognize the word already. So you don't really have to worry about if the person does capitalization or not, or they use all caps or what have you. Now again, this is a message is, which means that it is someone's typing in a specific phrase like talk to Mary, and that's going to trigger our message. So we're gonna click on create message and then you have the option to create a new reply, select an existing message, or create an action. Now, because we want this phrase to open a live chat and notify our admin, we're gonna to go to action, and we're going to open our conversation. We're gonna add one more action, and we're gonna notify an admin. You can add context by clicking on this line item right here, and again, you can add a different name or option, or you can change the text here. And when you're all happy with it, you just exit out. So now we have two actions tied to our keyword phrase, and we can also create a new reply by selecting new reply and type in our message. 
make sure you hit publish. Again, keywords are a fantastic way to smarten your chatbot up a little bit and further engage in more ways with your end users. Let's move on to the next step as we build out Mary's Messenger Marketing Campaign.